send that send one that one out to to Brian. All right. <laughs> It's back in the studio. Morning becomes eclectic on KCRW. I'm Chris Doritas. And uh, how is it then that um, the catalysts come about for the songs? You said you know you got to keep it organic. And when you're working with uh, with the Dust Brothers in the studio, where do the catalysts come from? I'm imagining different places. Uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, like do you what's come in with a song? Or, yeah, like do you uh, come in with a song idea, a lyric idea, or or a sound from a record that you love? Or? Well, you know, the, this, like the songs I'm I'm playing myself this morning. These are ones I just sat down and and uh, wrote myself. But mm-hmm. for this album and probably for Mellow Gold as well, it was more of a case of going into the studio and just you know turning on the tape, playing playing the Wurlitzer. Or, or playing the guitar, or coming up with a bass line, and then just building the whole thing mm. around that. Ah. And then do the the samples come in later as texture to to help execute the song? It's the song. The song is for most for most of the songs. The song was uh, pretty much formed, and then uh, we just throw a sample in there to sort of as an ornamental thing. Yeah. Or as a little thing happening on the side. But. Well, uh, we we kept uh, a lot of times we we're just trying to sample, just trying to sample myself as much as possible, and then uh, you use the samples as a, something to add a different texture, a different dimension to what the song already was. That reinforces the uh, the importance of a of a great song at the heart of it all. Yeah, or just it just fractures uh, kind of the sense of time. There's there's something about a sample, you know, this thing that was recorded maybe 20 or 30 years ago, uh, and just incorporating that into something you're doing now. There's nothing you can't recreate that. Just that sense of time. It's kind of it, it. It makes it a little more spooky. Is there something about using like an old record, an old sample? A sample from an old-sounding record that that has recognition and warmth and nostalgia that can be used for for building a song. It's, it's not really. I don't know. To, I'm not really into nostalgia or using. I mean, I hear a lot of songs like that on the radio where where a rapper just basically takes an old song. Yeah. Like an old. There's one on the radio now. Uh, it's it's some Motown song and the guys just rapping. You know that don't. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Some rapper guys just, and then they take the original chorus. It's like my girl. Uh, the, yeah, my yeah. girl. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I I don't know. I think that's a little too easy. Uh, when we sample, it's it's fairly obscure, you know, <laughs> to say the least. And and which makes it that much harder to try to clear the thing because uh, you got to track the person down. Hmm. Well, or or it's so unrecognizable that maybe it won't be. He's going to come calling. <laughs> well, we try to clear it anyhow, just to yeah, just to give respect to the person where it originated. And that's the way it should be, and and uh, you know it, it sends a little cash their way. Yeah, exactly. Spread around. We've got back in the studio. Morning becomes eclectic on KCRW. Um, how you hey, feel? Tim. Hmm. Look it out. Oh, I better get this one in here. This is I was gonna play one from the album. Mm. Uh, solo style. This is uh, called Jackass. Great. Enjoying the ambience. Yeah, exactly. This is the ambience section of the show. The silence, yeah. you know, it's the exciting sil- radio. 